is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around negative territory. S&Ps right now, negative by three points, trading at 29.30. We have the NASDAQ right now, negative by six, trading at 8,113. And the Dow, negative by 61, trading at 26,595. Dollar index with some strength, up 350 ticks, trading at 97,670. Notes and bonds, higher price and lower yield. 10-year note up 12 ticks, 123,16. 30-year bond up 26 ticks, 147,10. Gold up $6, catching a bounce after some negative action recently. Gold trading $12.79.20. And oil with some negative action today, negative 45 cents, 65.84. That's after a bit of a surprise build in the EIA inventories we got at 10.30. Jumping over the futures markets, we'll start it off with the Dow. So it's kind of just been a slow slide throughout most of the day. We started the day. About 8 in the morning, we're at 26,691. We're about 100 points exactly on the dot below that level, 26,590. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a similar story as in trading lower for most of the day, 78.17. We made lows for the session about an hour ago, 78.07. S&P 500, earlier in the day, we were trading up there at about 29.40 on a couple occasions, call it 29.39 being the high. S&P is about seven points off that level, trading 29.32. Crude oil, there is your volatility on the inventory build on the EIA. 10.30 this morning, we were trading about $66.20. Crude oil had a build of about 5 million barrels. The estimate was for an increase of about 1 million barrels. More supply than the market expected. With that in mind, prices go lower. 65.89, still a pretty muted response as we're hovering right around $66 crude. And gold, there's your acceleration to the upside. We peak above 12.80 briefly. Gold trading at 12.79.16. In terms of what else you have happening, it is earnings season in full swing. Caterpillar reported better than expected earnings. We'll jump over to that chart in a moment. You have Boeing pulling their 2019 guidance, basically saying we can't guide you through what's going to happen for the rest as we deal with this 737 MAX. And Tesla, after the bell today, down about 1.7%. There's Caterpillar, down 2.5%. Boeing, though, seems like that was already priced into this stock. Boeing, basically flat. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now. Tom O'Brien back in the saddle live from 3 till 5.